get started with the countdown uh, for market fatafat and tell you all the stocks that are buzzing in trade. And for that, we are joined by Amar Singh, Senior Vice President, Research Angel One on the technicals. And from the research side, we are joined by Jine and Gaurav. Hi, all three of you. Uh, welcome to fatafat Let's get started with all the stocks then. Now, the first stock that is in focus today is Ambuja Cement. Now, Ambuja Cement has approved acquisition of 100% stake in Pina Cement by way of entering into a binding agreement. Now, the indicated time period for the completion of this acquisition is within three to four months. Uh, you know, in fact, the press release uh, said that Adani Group has acquired uh, Pina Cement at an enterprise value of 10,422 crore rupees and the acquisition adds 14 M MTPA capacity a total now the total has reached now 89 MTPA now Adani will also Adani Cements uh, will approve uh, the, the market share pan India by improve their market share by 2% uh, so in, in South India it is likely to improve by 8% and the acquisition is likely to be funded by internal accru accruals that's the word coming in Two notes also uh, by Morgan Stanley, they're saying that, uh, you know, uh, the deal is incrementally positive for the industry and Ambuja increases the footprint in the south and should support volume growth over the medium term and uh, they are maintaining an underweight and their target price is 665 rupees. Macquarie has also come out with a note, they're maintaining a neutral stand in Ambuja and they're maintaining a target price of 608 rupees. And on the back of this, we can see Ambuja Simmons trading with gains of almost 1.8%. Absolutely, keeping an eye on that. But let's move on, pull up ICICI Lombard. At one point of time, that was among the top FNO gainers. Uh, where is it headed is what we're watching out for. But uh, ICICI Lombard today buzzing in trade. We have seen a uh, block deal that happened in morning trade. But other than that, we have the non-life insurance data that's come in. So for the month of May, overall, the non-life insurance data point shows a 15% growth on a year-on-year -year basis. Now, specifically for uh, ICICI Lombard, if you look at it, it's a 21.64% growth uh, for the non-life insurance and it's at 2,104 crore rupees. We, other than that, we have uh, uh, New India Assurance, Star Health, as well as Go Digit, which are also in focus. Like New India Assurance managed to see a very bit uh, a subdued growth, actually a slight bit of a negative growth. But ICICI Lombard, a very, very strong growth, uh, best in the listed players that you are looking at at 21.64% growth. So keeping an eye out on that, overall in terms of the market share also when you're looking at it in the month of May, uh, FY24, it was at uh, around ICICI Lombard 10.21%. While to FY25 at 10.81%. So keeping an eye out on ICICI Lombard uh, on the back of the non life insurance data point as well as uh, bulk deal that happened, 4% uptake, more than 4% uptake right now for the stock. All right, moving on. Uh, Amar, you picked out Garden Reach Builders for us. Um, this counter has given some stellar gains over the last six months, 96% uh, returns. Uh, what is the upside that you're seeing here in the last one month in fact it has given us some 66 odd percent returns uh, what is the upside is there more steam left or should we uh, should one book out profits yeah i would say if we uh, look at this particular uh, uh, stock uh, the stock has uh, uh, taken out a key zone of resistance because earlier somewhere around 1475 14 uh, 1500 was a zone of resistance that has been taken out and the structure of the stock remains to uh, remains very strong so on the long term charts on the intermediate term trend that's on the weekly charts the stock continues to remain very strong and what we've seen is uh, that as recent as uh, uh, 23rd of may the stock had witnessed a significant volume so that and that was around 14 30 odd levels post that we did witness some correction in the stock uh, on account of the election results but again the stock has bounced back so this is what stock one can definitely keep a close watch on the trend is very strong on the long term intermediate term intermediate term so it effectively means is that any pullback is a buying opportunity. The stock now has got very strong support coming out of the 1400, 1450 zone. So anyone looking at buying has to have a stop loss below that levels. Sustaining over the current levels, the stock has a potential to rally towards 1780, 1800 levels. Surely keeping an eye out on those levels over there for Garden Reach. But let's move on, talk about the next stock on the fundamental side. And uh, Saurashtra Cement, Goro, that's the stock that you've picked out for us. What's the news for you today? Well, yes. On the contra side, Saurashtra Cement is actually going down and the reason being that this is on the back of the rumour that Adani Group was planning to buy the stake. Now, yesterday there were some media reports which suggested that Adani Group is planning to invest in cement companies for inorganic growth. 
where a few names emerged like Panna Cement and Saurashtra Cement. While company actually went ahead with acquisition of Panna Cement, if we talk about Saurashtra Cement specifically, this company came up with a notification and with a clarification which states that there was no report suggesting that the Adani Group is going to acquire the company. They said that they have no knowledge about the content of the news and on back of this news, if you look at the stock performance also, for the last two days, we have seen this stock rallying more than 20%. But if you talk about today, this has gone up almost by 3%. Or, uh, this has actually gone down almost by 3%. My bad. So definitely watching out on Sora Cement because on the back of fundamentals, this company looks like a strong company. But definitely on the back of the news flow, this company is going down in a day to day. <clears throat> Absolutely, keeping uh, an eye out on that. Uh, Saurashtra Cement in focus. But Janay, uh, Prestige Estate, why have you picked out that one for us today? So CLS have come up with a note uh, and they have actually retained their buying rating have, and increased their target price from earlier target price of 1875 to new target price of 2320 rupees. Now what they say is the operating cash flow generated by the business will substantially support its upcoming uh, capex and also the projected pipeline growth. They also expect the current uh, re-rating of the company going to continue because all of the debt concerns which were going on in the company are now overdone. Now CLSA has also highlighted uh, the valuation of uh, Prestige Estates which is still trading at a discount of its peers so still a uh, headroom uh, is present in the valuation side and the stock has hit an uh, all-time high today and is trading with the gains of about 3% in today's trading session. All right, with that, it's time for us to slip into a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some more stocks. Welcome back. You're watching Market for Tafat on ET now. And uh, let's keep it going with all the stocks that have been buzzing in trade. And on the technicals, Amar, you've picked out KEC International for us. Uh, what are the charts now indicating for KEC International? We've seen a spike up coming in uh, specifically in the last one month and overall in the last six months of 51% return. So what's the view on this? Yeah, so uh, if you look at uh, uh, KEC International, the stock uh, was in for some consolidation. And uh, if you look at uh, this week itself, the stock is up almost 20%. And what we're seeing is that uh, the volumes have been significantly higher over the last uh, five to seven trading sessions. Uh, so this is one stock uh, one can keep a close watch on. And uh, the stock earlier was unable to breach. So it was in for consolidation around the 800, 830 zone. Now it's around uh, 930 levels. But the trend continues to be very strong for the stock on the long term on the intermediate term trend. So the stock has the potential to rally towards the four digit mark that's the 4000 levels on the downside uh, however the stock has got very strong support coming around the 850 860 zone which should act as a strong support so any pullback is a buying opportunity on the upside one can look at uh, targets towards uh, the 1000 mark and uh, the stock is a strong uh, technically on the charts across time frames all right, moving on to the stock that is in news today, and that is Vodafone Idea. Vodafone Idea that is right currently trading with gains of over two and a half percent. What's the news flow? Well, uh, you know it has approved the issuance of shares worth up to two thousand four hundred fifty-eight crore rupees on a preferential basis to Ericsson India, Nokia India, and Network India. Now the transaction will involve issuing shares of up to one hundred sixty-six crores fully paid-up equity shares of face value of uh, rupees ten each in one. Or more tranches. Now, of this around 102 crore equity shares at an issue price of 14.8 rupees a piece will be issued to Nokia Solutions and Network India, while Ericsson India will fetch around 63.3 crore equity shares face, with a face value of 10 rupees each at an issue price of 14.8 rupees per share. Now, this move aims to clear a portion of the pending dues and support the telco's expansion of 4G services and the rollout of 5G technology. Uh, that is uh, that's what uh, you know Vodafone has been talking about, and now this has gone through. Also, JP Morgan uh, has come out with a note and what of an idea. They feel that the equity swap is to address the legacy vendor dues and a further dilution can't be ruled out. And they believe that the repayments and clearance of the past dues uh, is, is finally on the cards now. And also, uh, uh, they remain that the U UW as uh, the equity story is uh, complicated. So that is likely to take time. And uh, uh, JP Morgan is uh, therefore, uh, uh, you know, maintaining a buy on Vodafone. And on the back of that, Vodafone idea is in focus today. 
Okay, shall we keep an, uh, an eye on Vodafone idea? But another stock that's been buzzing in trade, uh, trade is Endurance Tech. We did have uh, some updates that came in from the company in terms of a presentation. Uh, what is it that they are expecting? The key highlights that came in was that they expect the reach for four-wheeler segment to target, uh, uh, target at around 45% uh, on a consolidated turnover basis by FY30, and from uh, which is currently at around 26%. Now, in uh, the four-wheeler segment, also they plan to enter new products. This is going to be through uh, technology alliances, MNAs in India as well as Europe, and on the EV front, they said that they want to build further on the impressive EV auto book in Europe as well as the domestic market. That's the Indian market. Um, after market, uh, they expect that reach to increase at around 10% of uh, the turnover by FY28, which is currently at 6%. So growth is what they're expecting. Good commentary, positive commentary is keeping the stock a buzz right now. Hold to gains of almost 6% it was much higher, 78% at one point of time, but yes, 6% uh, is what it's holding on to. Absolutely, Vinny, but moving on, Amar, uh, LG Equipments is what you've picked out for us. Uh, tell us, what are you seeing in the charts for this counter? I would say this is uh, one stock uh, which uh, I really uh, was uh, trading a very consolidation zone. It did uh, witness some sharp up moves and then uh, it went in for consolidation I would say since March. So since March, the stock went in for consolidation after hitting a high of 714 levels. And then all the way uh, on the election day results, the stock corrected towards 540. Now the stock has gained its momentum back. And from 540 levels, currently the stock is trading around uh, 690. And that also on significantly heavy volumes over the last uh, two trading uh, sessions, both in terms of volumes and in terms of delivery quantity. So that tells me that uh, there could be more upside to the stock once the stock takes out its all-time highs of 714. So 715, 720 is a level to watch out for this particular stock. Uh, taking that out, then the stock could rally towards the 750, 760 levels. Otherwise, the stock could go in for some consolidation. And the stock now has got a very strong support uh, coming around the 750, uh, 7, uh, uh, 650, uh, 650, 660 zone. Okay, surely keeping an eye out on that one. Let's move on to stock number 10 for today and HL. Um, Janet, this one in focus on the back of a brokerage note. What's the highlight coming in here? Well, yes, Jeffries have come up with a uh, brokerage note on Hindustan Aeronautics. Uh, they've come up with a buy rating with the target price of Rs 5,725. They believe that the sentiment of the company is on upbeat, especially because of the defense engineerization and export uh, focus. Uh, also, they're expecting a double-digit growth rate for uh, continuing of the business for about three to five years going ahead. Now, HL is as a, at a sweet spot, they believe, because of the high technology entry barrier, which acts as a strong moat for the company. Now, they say that the valuation of the company is yet to reflect this high moat, uh, high technological moat, and near monopoly business. And that's why they have come up with a so uh, so much bullish uh, report on HL. All right, moving on, Amar. Yeah. BEML is a counter that you've picked out for us. Uh, it's last six months, good gains coming in, 82% uh, gains. Last one month also, it has been on the up move. Uh, tell us, uh, uh, where do you see, uh, what is the upside for this one? Uh, so, looking at uh, this particular stock, what we are seeing is that the uh, stock went in for some consolidation. And uh, post the consolidation, the stock is witnessing some uh, uh, sharp up move. And... Uh, uh, today has been a very strong day for the stock. The stock is up almost 70 percent and the stock is uh, very close to taking out its all-time highs of 4800. Having said that, what we see is that uh, uh, the uh, long-term and the intermediate-term trend for the stock remains very strong and positive. Uh, so it's uh, primarily uh, majorly in favor of the of the bulls and uh, the way the stock has bounced back today, it just needs to clear out uh, the 4800 levels and the stock is headed towards uh, the 5000 mark. And uh, the best part is on the long-term charts, on the intermediate-term trend, uh, the, the bullish momentum has been gaining strength uh, <clears throat> week on week, month on month. So that's a very strong and positive aspect of this particular stock. So this is one stock one can look at. Those who are long, they can look at booking profits if it does not reach the 4,800 mark. But trading over 4,800 mark, the stock would have a, a, would have a strong rally towards the 5,000 levels. And in that case, 4700, 4800 would become a very strong support uh, for this particular stock. Okay, keeping an eye on that. But on that note, we'll slip into a very short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more buzzing stocks after the break.
If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.